Hello there, my name is Skywalker, and I cannot tell you how happy I am to be here. But first up, that is something that will happen to you a lot in Endgame. You'll be walking around somewhere, a, dry, a bike will just drive by, and oh, okay, and turn around and shoot at them, like, get the hell out of here. Um, and then this guy trying to hit the flag. He's like, you're not having my flag. <laughs> get away, get off my flag. That's not, for, that's not for you, you big polar bear. You crazy bear. Um, but Endgame is, I have to say, it's pretty great. As you can see, I'm playing on PC. Um, I just... I don't know why, decided to do play a bit of PC. Um, and I really like the M417 in PC, like I do everywhere, but uh, went for that helicopter. I was just like, get the hell up, kind of panic shooting there, and got the one, the guy that um, jumped out. Um, but I had a catastrophic failure of everything. I played, so I played this game on PC, and, um, and so I, I saved it and everything, and Basically what happened a few days ago, I was, I was playing Sins of Solar Empire, which is a fantastic game. And as I was starting out one time, it, uh, it blue-screened, which was wonderful. Um, and since then, my hard drive has been really weird, and basically it stopped letting me get data off it. So I spent the last three hours trying to get this game off. Um, so, sorry that this was later than I intended it to be, but this sniper was running around the back, so I spent ages chasing him all the way up to the fake trees. <laughs> those kind of weird trees and um, quite pleased with that shot took him out um, they'd obviously kind of trying to get above our spawn there's quite a bit of spawn cabin that goes on has to be said um, I changed squads because there's nothing much going on in my squad uh, I suspect, suspected they had a spawn beacon so tried to hit him as he came down but it wasn't happening um, I'm kind of trying just to aim on the PC at the moment uh, but to my aim isn't that good anyway. Uh, I was kind of, I was like, you know, I'll just let him run up. See, I can hit that guy, that sniper, he was like running and hit him with a great shot. Oh, and this guy just parachuted right, he literally just dropped right onto my face. Um, so I spawned back in and he was just right there. I was like, alright, I'll just get at least straight back. Whatever, you know, it's cool. Um, but yeah, so I, I played some SPRT that was really, really fun. Um, it's really fun as long as you don't care about your kill death ratio or if you're an awesome pilot. Um, fortunately, I'm not an awesome pilot, but I also don't care about my kill-death ratio particularly that much. Um, this is what was great about the bikes, is that it does give you lovely double kills. Thank you for both just sitting there. Um, but yeah, so it, it I, spent, I finally managed to get this game off, off uh, or retrieve this one game off my um, hard drive. Um, wasn't at a guy flank. So here it is, finally. Um, Capture the Flag is really interesting. Um, it's kind of like, I guess, the way it feels is, it kind of feels like Rush, where both teams have an NCOM. I mean, uh, I see, this this hill right now, I kind of set up shop on this hill. Very pleased with that shot. It just, it's like right right in the face. Um, this this hill, I kind of found this spot early in the game. It was like, this will be my hill. So this hill is now renamed Sky's Hill. This is this is my hill. Um And I was just like, I'm just going to lurk from this hill and, and kill everyone. It's going to be great. Uh... Actually, if you look at the dirt, our dirt bike running, driving around there, something I've noticed happen quite a lot is there's quite a lot of team killing goes on accidentally, because the icon isn't above the heads. They're kind of like, no, what is the sniper doing? What are you doing there? Um, they're kind of like in the middle. I've noticed a lot of people um, kind of see a dirt bike and instinctively shoot, and I've done it as well. Um, so it, that is kind of a slight issue I found. Uh, I was, I was at this point, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm not, I can't just stay here, let's just go check out their base. Um, but yeah, obviously, my main problem with Conquest is the fact that it's so empty. The reason why I turned around, I saw some guy behind me, and it ended up saving my life, because there's a guy, the guy in front of me ran straight into that guy, but uh, not to worry, got him in the, got him. Um, oh, please, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, obviously, my problem with Conquest, especially on consoles, is... Um, it's so open, and you just walk around, and you kind of like it's like you, you, you see like three people in the entire game. And I thought that it was like I was dead. I was just panic firing, just like take that. Uh. Um, whereas what I found the CTF, <laughs> his body was just floating there. What I found the CTF is that it, um, it kind of gives you that kind of openness of conquest, but both teams have a kind of just one singular point to run to each, which works really well. Um, Okay, this here is possibly one of the most embarrassing p 
pieces of shooting I've ever had on this game. They had got our flag the whole way up here, and I was like, brilliant, I'm in a position to kill that guy. And I miss every single shot, and then miss every single shot on the next guy. And while this was happening, I, I was just like, Picard double face palm. This is so terrible. Finally actually kill someone, and almost get a team kill, but not quite. It's okay, not quite, don't worry, we're cool. Um, uh, and then I thought, I just try to take him down, but... Then I just get shot in the back, and I was like, I wasn't trying to take your flag, honest, really. Um, but he didn't believe me, and so shot me. I was like, whatever, jerk. So, yeah, it, it, it kind of, so it's really fun in that aspect. I really like the fact that it's kind of open, um, but on the other hand, you know, it gives that kind of, that kind of focus. Um, defending is really fun. I, as you see, for the first bit, I was just perched on that hill just shooting people, um, and it, that's kind of what I kind of found I, I really enjoyed. Um, this guy, hover feet, give him a go. There's that weird connection issue. Um, I don't know why the sniper was, didn't have some sort of motion sensor, but I'll just take his dog tags. Thank you very much. I'll have those. Put them in my collection of like four. <laughs> I've got more than that. Okay. Um, but defending is really fun. I mean, like often games in CTF, like in Halo, like game starts off like three people get the warthog and they're like, screw you guys, we're off to attack, and everyone else just goes, oh, okay, fine, we'll defend. But defending is uh, really fun. Um, I'm using the ACWR, which is basically the sniper killer. It's so accurate for a carbine. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, on, it's not that amazing on normal, I found, personally, but it's very good. <laughs> See, I nearly shot my teammate then. I was just, I saw someone on the map, and then he peered right in front of me, and I just shot him, but... Um, jump on that guy's face. Uh, so glad that tank... Oh, that, firstly, it's the awkward moment when a tank turns up, and uh, secondly, the awkward moment when a tank comes up and you've not got an RPG loaded. Um, missed that shot, fortunately. I'm not sure who else hit him, but lined up the kill for me. So, his loss that he didn't shoot me. Um, but yeah, defense is fine. I mean, like, because everyone's coming in, you can just kind of pick a good position, a lurk spot, and you can kind of just cover, like, a side of the base, and you don't particularly have to go looking for people, but of course it is also fun to go looking for people. Um, so I have played some on both PC and console, um, and it does. The good thing is it does work on consoles, which is cool. Um, I I've played all the maps, and they're all really good fun. Um, obviously, PC is a bit more populated. It isn't quite as intense on consoles, uh, but it's still a, a great uh, a great bit of fun. Um, the only map I don't particularly like. Um, I was just going for a. The, that fellow who went off the dirt bike got him, got him pinned, um, and then someone else came and finished him off. I was like, good work. Knowing when you get that much of a kill assist there and you don't get the kill, but it's okay, you can live with it. Um, the only map I don't like, I can't remember its name, it's the Railroad one, and it's called something Railroad. And Railroad? Railroad? Rail, railroad. There we go. Um, another quad bike kill. I'm sure that's making up like half of my kills in this game, just guys from quad bikes, but I, I, I'll take it. Um, that, that map feels, I think it's a lot bigger, a lot more space between the flags, and the middle, th like, th I don't know, th that tank did get me that time. Um, it just feels like nothing really happens on that map. Um, well, I, I got spawn camped a lot, and I'd have killed a lot running between objectives. Um, that mortar guy was just sat up there. I mean, it's weird, people kind of play it almost like Conquest, but they're almost happy to sit off in the corner with a mortar, but because people are a lot more focused, they... I don't know, I came across several people just knocks... It was almost like they didn't expect me to be there. Um, this... Ah, oh, this, this bit was... I felt so cool this happened. So that guy knifes him, and then I shoot kind of him just under... Oh, it, it was... It was pretty wonderful. Um, so, I, yeah, it, it's... Railroad isn't my, isn't my favourite one. But uh, this one's really good fun. I can't, I, so I can't really remember the map names. There's the one that's uh, in the kind of in the fields, and you can kind of chill out on there. Um, another quad, not quad bike, another dirt bike kill. You can kind of chill out on this field with a sniper rifle and take people out. Um, I say I haven't been able to play with someone yet, so most of my tactics in the games I've played has kind of been skirmishing slightly around the edge, kind of supporting the people. Um, I did capture flu flags on uh, some console games, but then got killed lots in doing so. So I, it kind of seems that it really is a kind of if you want to go for the objectives, it really is a is a squad game. Um, whereas air superiority is 
it is <laughs> it's hard to go that way is that the tank like nope nope not going that way turn around um s priority is one that you can just jump into on yourself and and die lots but kill many people with um i was desperately trying to get a kill here for the game ended and as you can see no one actually capped a flag in this game and if you're thinking why the hell sky did you pick a game where no one captured a flag um well, the reason is is obviously if there had been a flag capture it would have been nice but I'm sure there's plenty of videos where you've seen that going down, and I just thought this game really illustrated just that kind of fact that, despite the fact that it's really wide open, um, you kind of know where the action is going to be, and and the, uh, so, you know, I was defending. You know, you can kind of see people coming with different angles, and that's kind of really one of my favourite aspects about it. Um, the maps are really fun to play on. Um, in a way, it kind of reminds me of when I first played on the uh, Armored Kill maps. Um, because they're kind of more outdoorsy in that sense, um, except without the gunship blowing off my face, which is what I do not like about um, I'm a Kill. But um, yeah, there we go. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry it took longer for me to get this video out. I meant to have it up pretty soon after the uh, uh, it came out. But there we go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Circus out. Bye-bye.